so guys welcome back to the channel and uh, this is another video of checkpoint uh, exams of year 9 uh, this is sample test and this is paper 2 we can use calculator in this one uh, so the first question that i have here is simplify x power uh, 4 times x power 5 so we are using laws of exponents here so which is very important x power m times x power n when base is same you are going to add the powers right so this is x 4 plus 5 so final answer is x power 9 so x power 9 is going to be the final answer and now part 2 we have here here is an expression the value of x is substituted into the expression tick the operation that is performed first when the uh, value of this expression is uh, calculated so whenever you will do here so the first thing that you need to do is perform on x inside the bracket inside the bracket we have minus 2 so we are going to tick on uh, minus 2 here right now number 3 the length of the book is 25 centimeter to the nearest centimeter complete these statements about the length of the uh, book the lower limit of the length of the book is dash centimeters so it is 25 so we are going to have 25 for the upper limit plus 0 0.5 and for the lower limit minus 0 0.5 the lower limit is going to be 12.25 minus 0 0.5 is 24.5 and the upper limit is going to be 25.5 right now number four uh, the diagram shows two straight lines crossing a pair of parallel lines. these are parallel lines and these two lines are intersecting here are some statements about a uh, tick the two correct statements angle a and b corresponding to angle b angle a and is corresponding to angle b no uh, because this angle is below the line and this is also below the line but these lines are not parallel so first one is not uh, second a is alternate to angle c so this one here if you see one is on this side another one here on the parallel line so yes this is correct angle a is ang equal to angle d yes because we see where there is a f shape here if we have f shape the angles are like this this is angle a and this is angle d so they are corresponding to each other so they will be equal right so angle a is vertical opposite to angle e angle e they are adjacent they are not vertically opposite so that's not the option okay now the next one number five here a uh, find the size of each interior angle uh, in a regular pentagon so pentagon is a diagram uh, a shape having number of sides as five so sum of interior angles the formula of sum of interior angles is n minus 2 times 180 so n is 5 here 5 minus 2 times 180 so this is 3 times 80 which is 540 and what is our question our question is find the size of each interior angle so each angle is going to be each angle is going to be 540 divided by 5 so this is 108 so 108 degrees okay now part b the cross section of a prism is a, a regular pentagon draw a ring around the number of plane symmetries of this uh, prism so uh, prism he said regular pentagon so this is a pentagon and there will be like different different side on this five sides all around plus this one so five plus one there will be total six number of planes of symmetry right now number six uh, a cylinder has radius seven centimeter height is 15 calculate the volume so this is very direct question but you should know the formula formula of this uh, cylinder is volume of cylinder is pi r squared h pi and r r is 7 squared h is 15 so just use your calculator directly so pi times 
पाई पाई टाइम्स सेवन टाइम सेवन फोर्टी नाइन टाइम्स फिफ्टीन सो दिस इज टू थ्री जीरो नाइन पॉइंट जीरो सेवन टू थ्री जीरो नाइन पॉइंट जीरो सेवन दैट्स वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू राइट डाउन इन द आंसर नाउ नंबर सेवन कंप्लीट द टेबल ऑफ वैल्यूज फॉर वाई इक्वल्स टू एक्स स्क्वाड माइनस फोर सो वी आर गिवन एक्स वैल्यू हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स हेयर टू गेट सो दिस वाई इक्वल्स टू नेगेटिव थ्री स्क्वाड माइनस फोर थ्री स्क्वायर इज नाइन नाइन माइनस फोर इट इज फाइव राइट सो फॉर वन वी हैव नेगेटिव वन स्क्वाड माइनस फोर नेगेटिव वन इज वन माइनस फोर दिस इज नेगेटिव थ्री राइट एंड देन दिस वन इज थ्री स्क्वाड माइनस फोर नाइन माइनस फोर इट इज फाइव सो दैट्स हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू कंप्लीट दिस टेबल नेक्स्ट वी हैव ग्राफ यर ड्रॉ द ग्राफ ऑफ वाई इक्वल्स टू x squared minus फोर for the value between negative थ्री and थ्री so now don't get confused here you are not going to draw another uh, find other values we are already given between negative थ्री to थ्री negative थ्री to थ्री we have all the values we are just going to plot this on the diagram so the first value that we have here is negative थ्री and फाइव so x negative थ्री and y फाइव x negative थ्री is here y फाइव is here just put a cross or just a dot then negative टू and जीरो is here negative टू and जीरो then we have negative वन and negative थ्री negative वन and negative थ्री is here जीरो uh, and फोर then वन and negative थ्री वन and negative थ्री टू uh, and जीरो then थ्री and फाइव थ्री is here फाइव is here so just join them just you need a free hand curve like this so this is our graph right now number 8 uh, the table shows uh, information about the temperature uh, in 20 cities one day uh, so this is the temperature and this is the frequency complete the frequency polygon to show the information now the first one between 6 to 8 is 3 uh, here then 8 to 10 8 to 10 in the middle one is 2 which is 2 here so 10 to 12 10 to 12 is we have here 4 uh, which is already here uh, so next one 12 to 14 between 12 to 14 is 13 here which is 3 3 is going to come over here this is 3 here then 14 to 16 between 14 to 16 is 8 8 is here so uh you need to use your ruler to draw this line so that's it right now put a ring around the interval that contains the median temperature so for the median temperature uh for the median temperature you need to have the median okay so we will go back here so we have total uh, the temperature that is given for 20 cities divided by 2 it is 10 so here 3 plus 2 is 5 5 plus 4 is 9 9 plus 3 is 12 so the 10th value will go in this one so 12 to uh, 14 that is the median temperature here okay so we will put ring here find the greatest possible value for the range of the temperature so greatest possible value we have here we are going to have uh, that is for that one we need to have maximum uh, this is the range range is maximum value minus minimum so maximum temperature is shown 16 but less than that there is no equal sign here so less than that may be 15.9 minus we have 6 here so 15.9 minus 6 that gives you 9.9 approximately 10 degree celsius now number 9 we have here is the equation uh, of some of the straight line graphs y equals to x plus 
and y equals to x minus 3 draw a ring around the graph with gradient 2 so gradient 2 y equals to mx plus c uh, is the standard form so this is the gradient so y equals to mx plus c here here is gradient 2 in this one so here we will divide by 2 so the gradient will not remain 2 so this is the final answer for that one now the yuri's teacher asked him uh, to write down three properties of the graph uh, y equals to 2x plus 1 6x plus 1 both have common so we are looking for the common property they are both straight lines they both have positive gradient gradient is 2 here gradient is 6 and then if you compare this y intercept is also same so we can say both have both have a y intercept of 1 right so that's it for this one question number 10 the diagram shows two shapes on the grid we have these two shapes uh, shape q is enlargement of shape p okay so write down the scale factor of the enlargement so we will see count the number of squares of the bigger shape this is 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 squares divided by we have here 2 square so scale factor is 3 now center of enlargement for the center of enlargement we are just going to join the uh, corresponding uh, vertices so i'm taking this one here so two or three are enough so it's ending at zero so then we can have this the middle ones you may have a dotted line here it's like this so you see they all are meeting at point zero zero so center of enlargement is zero zero now question number 11 the diagram shows a semicircle with radius 12.3 so uh, calculate the perimeter of the semicircle so you know that the perimeter is sum of all the sides so this one is 2 pi r circumference uh, over half circumference full circumference is uh, 2 pi r and half of that that will be pi r plus then the diameter so the perimeter is going to be diameter diameter is 12.2 times 12.3 times 2 12.3 times 2 plus pi r r r is 12.3 so once you calculate this one so it's simple 12.2 12.3 times 2 which is 24.6 plus 12.3 times pi which is 38.64 then you add it uh, once you add this one is let me see 38.64 this is 77.28 sorry i calculated this wrong this comes out to be 63.24 so your final answer is 63.2 now number 12 it takes five workers uh, 300 minutes uh, to decorate some cake five workers 300 minutes to decorate some cake uh, so find how many minutes would it for 12 workers to decorate the same number of cake so now you see that five workers take 300 minutes right so one worker is going to take more time so that means 300 times 5 then 12 workers are going to take less time so 300 times 5 over 12 right so then we can just calculate this is 1500 divided by 12 1500 divided by 12 gives you 125 so 125 minutes will be taken so that's it for this video i hope you guys understood everything let me know in the comment section thank you so much guys if you have not subscribed to the channel please do so at the earliest possible see you guys in the next video thank you so much be blessed